Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to scan for errors and clear them uh, using a clone interface. That's basically what this thing is. You obviously need a laptop that's running uh, I'm running Windows XP on this thing. Windows 10 on modern interfaces, I think it's okay. On older ones, it was eh. So, yeah, whatever. I I use this thing. This is the interface that I have. It's 17.1. Um, but do a quick search on uh, eBay and just search for uh, VCDS uh, diagnostic or something like that and you will find a ton of them. They all come with... Uh, a CD with software and whatever that you install on your laptop and yeah to do this you need to put the contact uh, obviously power on your laptop and plug this thing into the car and the USB into the laptop so let's do that in the A4B8 the interface is located right down there so you need to come with this thing and plug it in but i cannot do it while filming so I'll be back in a second lots of dust moving around the interface is plugged into the car uh, usb in this thing laptop obviously powered on we go to the little software that comes with this thing double click on it and wait ages because this is a really old laptop and slow but for what I'm doing good enough so be back when it's powered on when it started actually the program and yeah look at this nice chinglish please waiting cool and it's powered on and never ever update your clone software because it will break your interface and I don't uh, really like the fact that the original interface is so expensive that basically almost everybody is, is needing to buy clones but a lot of development goes into the original one so if you have the money please buy the original to support it okay there are two variants at this point if you want to scan a particular uh, module you can go to select And yes, it will be a bit slow. Let's say pff, instruments, whatever. And you can go to uh, fault codes. And it's giving us uh, an error because I worked a lot on the car and the battery dropped that the car wouldn't start anymore. So. <clears throat> yeah there's that anyway so you can uh, save the codes at this point it's going to make uh, a text file i always save the codes to have them for future reference reference so you give the vin number license plate uh, whatever browse where you want to save them and give an okay so close this and after you have saved them you can see here done close yes and then you go to clear codes and it will clear the codes only on this particular model in this uh, module in this case instruments but i usually don't go this uh, this route so go back close controller once again go back i usually scan the whole car even one more go back and i go to auto scan and on newer cars, you can leave it to auto detect, it will do its thing. So go simply to start. If I could actually click on it. And it will give me a Christmas tree with a lot of red in a moment, I think. Because I will probably have a lot of errors because of the voltage. Yep. <laughs> Christmas tree. And now it will go through all of those modules that it showed me in the first list one by one and see exactly what errors I have in each and every one of them. 
So I'll be back to you when this finishes because it does take a bit of time. And scanning is done, probably it took around 5 minutes or something like that. And you can check in here all of the errors in detail. Starter will not turn because of voltage, obviously. System voltage, the Anyway, I have a ton of errors because of under voltage that is uh, solved. I charged the battery, so that is all good. If you want, and actually not if you want, you should always do this. I At least I always do this. Come on, focus. Save the results. So save. Browse in my situation. I kind of have uh, an SD card that is special for uh, this uh, these scans and I just save it here and give it an OK and as you can see it's saving it where I told it to save it will take a while because it's a long uh, session log and now I can close this thing it's saved for future refer reference, it's always good to save it. And now, you go to clear all DTCs. And it's telling you uh, that you should only clear codes af after you have uh, solved the problem that it's generating the codes. And I agree with that. And for me, I know because it was the battery. Am I sure that I want to clear all the errors or the DTCs? Yes. At this point, it will communicate with all the controllers to clear the codes. Codes have been erased, and if I click on Done, Go Back, it will actually talk to the main controller again to ask it if uh, all the others are reporting any errors, and nothing is reporting any error at the moment. So, this is perfect, we are done. And we can actually close this thing. And that, that was about it. We have cleared the codes. Yes, we haven't cle uh, saved or anything the last results because they are all okay. Why would I save something that's uh, all okay? Yes. Exit. Shut off your laptop or whatever you have. And uh, at this point, you can kind of remove all the cables from everywhere. Unplug this one, for example. You kind of need to wiggle it around, doesn't come out easily. And then do whatever you want with the car, because uh, it's finished. This is all of it. So, yeah, hopefully this video helps you. In which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.